Hey guys, this is Nate Story, and today we're going to talk about the numbers that we use in describing container farming and indoor farming and how we compare that to the field. The message today is one, we shouldn't be comparing ourselves to the field. And at the end of this, I'm going to introduce you to the metrics we should be using for comparing indoor and container farming to traditional farming. All right, so the reason that we're doing this video today is because we've seen these numbers creeping up. You know, a container farm is equal to so many acres of production. And uh, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I think that this is happening because most folks in the indoor growing space don't actually know how much an acre is. They aren't actual traditional producers, and they don't, so they don't understand the comparison that they're making or how ridiculous it sounds. And so today, uh, we're going to dig into those numbers, and we're going to explain exactly how much a farm is producing in comparison to uh, field agriculture. And we're going to dispel some of these uh, notions that it is the equivalent of X number of acres. Um, this is a necessary thing to do, because until we're talking honestly about the numbers, the industry can't move forward. We're going to continue to be a joke and a laughing stock of traditional ag, and uh, internally, we're going to have a lot of confusion, which is going to cause people to make the wrong decisions, buy into farms that they shouldn't be buying into, and failing out, which is bad for everyone. All right, so let's talk about the numbers really fast. Almost all of our lettuce, this is the most common scenario for lettuce, all right? So all of the, a lot of these comparisons are being made on the basis of lettuce, but they're not being made uh, with like super transparent or um, kind of honest metrics, right? We're, we're picking and choosing uh, what metrics we want to compare. Now, if you're a field producer, you're, you're paying attention to tonnage, right? The pounds per acre, right? Or volume, bushels per acre. Right? We're using these big numbers to kind of calculate because we're doing a lot of production. An acre is a lot of land. It's 44,000 square feet. A container farm in comparison is 400 square feet or 1% of an acre in size. Now, 96% of the lettuce that we eat in the United States is grown in California where there are two harvests per year. Okay? Not one harvest. We're getting two harvests per year. And in fact, field producers with transplanting now are moving more towards three harvests a year. But we're going to play it safe here. We're just going to say two harvests per year. Now, for leaf lettuce, most producers are harvesting on average 12 tons per acre. This is in Arizona and in California. When they go out, when they cut lettuce, um, it comes in at 12 tons per acre per harvest for leaf lettuce. We're not even talking like head lettuce. Uh, the heavier stuff, we're talking the lightest possible stuff. This is 12 tons per acre. At two harvests per year, that's the equivalent of 24 tons per acre, or 48,000 pounds of lettuce per acre per year. You divide 48,000 pounds by 44,000, and you end up with roughly one pound per square foot. Okay? That's the rule of thumb number for outdoor production of lettuce, one pound per square foot per year. <music> So this is, this is our level setting uh, number over here, right? An acre is a lot of land, and there's a lot of production, 24 tons per acre uh, that, that you can get from that, that it will yield. Now let's go over here. Um, this is uh, a shipping container uh, example, and um, we're going to use shipping containers today just because it's in the shipping container space that we see these claims come up the most often, and we have to combat them. Why? Because in customers' heads, when they say, well, I'm the equivalent of five acres, I could buy five acres and I could farm those five acres, or I could buy a shipping container farm and grow the equivalent amount, that's not true. It's simply not true. And if that, is the, if that is the number in people's mind, then they're going to buy into something that's going to yield much, much less than they expect, and they will go out of business. Okay? They will have wasted their life savings, they will have built a farm, and they will go out of business. Why? Because the numbers that are being put in their head are not real. They're not true. They're not true numbers. And um, so we're going to get to the bottom of the numbers now. All right, so picking on uh, a shipping container here, we've got around 256 Zipco towers in a container, 13 heads per tower, 10.4 turns per year. A turn is the amount of time between transplant and harvest. That's a five-week turn, okay? So five weeks from transplant to harvest. Now we multiply this. Uh, 256 times 13 times 10.4, and then we're going to um, turn that into pounds, right? So two ounces per head, we're going to multiply that by two, divide it by 16, and that's going to give us the number of pounds divided by 2,000, gives us the tons per year, all right? So at two ounces per head, we end up with 2.16 tons per year. 
okay? Most container farms are producing closer to this than anything else, all right? So if you're a container farming farmer, most likely your numbers are closer to two than they are closer to four. Now, some growers are doing four, um, and especially folks in like modified containers or containers that are not actually shipping containers, they've been made custom for the purpose. Uh, they're getting much better yields, much bigger numbers. Um, but you know, this is, th these numbers down here are maybe a little less realistic. But we're, again, we're gonna play kind of the devil's advocate here and go with the very best scenario against um, a typical scenario in the field. So at two ounces per head, 2.16 tons per year for this container farm. That's, that's an awesome number. That's an awesome number. I, I, I mean, I really don't think we need to blow that number up and exaggerate it to the point that it's ridiculous to get the point across. To put that in perspective, that's equivalent of one-tenth of an acre, okay? So in 1% in of an acre, we're growing as much as 10% of an acre. That's great. That's 10x the productivity per square foot, okay? 10x the productivity. If we were to ax out half of this container, because arguably only half of the container is used uh, for production, that's closer to 20x per square foot for the actual square footage that's being used for growing, right? That's an amazing number. If we do four ounces per head, we end up with 4.32 tons per year. Again, 4.32 compared to 24 tons. So uh, one and a half acres, for instance, would be 36 tons per year. We're nowhere near that, right? We're nowhere near that. Um, five acres would be like 125,000 tons per year. We're nowhere near that, right? So that, that's, that's nonsense. But what we can say is, listen, this, this container farm, if you can grow out to four ounce heads, is the equivalent of 18% of an acre. That's amazing. That's amazing. In 1% of an acre, we're growing 18% equivalent of an acre. That's 20x the productivity per square foot, okay? Again, chopping it in half, we can say 40x, okay? Uh, down here at six ounces per head, we get 6.48 tons per year. That's a 27% of an acre. So best case scenario, this is the equivalent of one quarter of an acre. One quarter of an acre. So, um, and that's actually a pretty amazing number. I mean, it doesn't sound amazing when you compare it to five acres or three acres or two acres or whatever the number is, but in real life, that is an amazing number and a number that we should all be excited about and a number that shows us what the future of indoor production can be. To put that in perspective, that's 30X total footprint, 30X the productivity per square feet, foot as the field. This is 30 pounds per year per square foot, right? Compared to one over here. That's amazing. That's amazing. We should be excited about that. We shouldn't be saying this is the equivalent of 3,000% uh, of an acre on a per square foot basis. That is misleading, okay? That is misleading. So um, to put this in perspective, um, this is our 400 square foot shipping container. At two ounces per head, this is the equivalent of 4,000 square feet in the field. At four ounces per head, that's the equivalent of 8,000 square feet in the field. At six ounces per head, that's the equivalent of 12,000 square feet in the field. And that is our number, okay? That is our number. 9%, 18%, 27%. Those are the real, honest, fundamental numbers of uh, indoor production and specifically production inside of container farms versus the field. Now, to be perfectly clear here, there are folks that are getting better numbers than this. They're not typically in container farms. They're typically doing uh, things a little bit differently. So it is possible to exceed these numbers. Um, I'm working with companies that are, uh, that, are, that are doing much, much better than that. But uh, for most container farms, this is the reality. Next, we're gonna talk about stacked. All right, so next we're gonna dig into the numbers of stacked because there's a lot of folks out there that say, well, stacked is different. Um, stacked isn't actually that different, okay? So uh, again, returning here, this is our anchor point, 44,000 square feet in an acre. 24 tons per acre per year over here. So let's come over to a container farm. Now I've just done it like a generic container farm, right? There's only so much space that we can use. And the assumption here is that uh, we're using it wisely. I've been pretty generous with aisle width. Typically aisles would be wider than two feet. I've been pretty generous with um, kind of the efficiency of the space, uh, simply because we've got a lot less experience in the stacked space and I wanna be really generous with the numbers here. Okay, so we have a two foot aisle. Let's assume eight inches between plants, okay? So this is two thirds of a, uh, of a foot, 
between plants, so center to center from here to here, along the length of the trough. Six inches between plants center to center from side to side. So from here to here, we've got six inches, which means this is 12 inches total, right? Two troughs side by side equals 12 inches, or one foot. It's pretty tight, but uh, we're gonna roll with it. Five layers at 18 inches uh, of height per layer. So that proves that, you know, at 18 inches, which is about the most you wanna give these plants, you can get about five layers in there. And let's assume that we're using 70% of the footprint efficiently. So, so um, the 30% here is for tanks, for mixing, for storage of supplies, for that kind of thing, okay? And that's just basically so, uh, so we're, we're doing an apples to apples comparison of stacked to um, vertical. Although even here, it might be a little bit uh, generous towards stacked. But let's say we're, we were using 70% of that footprint efficiently. Um, so we have, uh, for our math here, we have uh, six feet divided by six inches, right? So we have six feet across this, so three feet here and three feet here. Six inches wide per trough gives us 12 troughs times uh, five layers, 60 times 40 uh, is 240, uh, 240 linear feet, 2,400 linear feet, um, right? 70% uh, uh, footprint use efficiency times uh, two thirds of a foot, right? Eight inches between these seedlings. So eight inches over 12 inches equals 2,520 plants in this container at any given time uh, during grow out. We assume 10.4 turns per year. Again, that's the five week turn, pr fairly standard, fairly uh, standard across the board for lettuce. And at two ounces, then that gives us 1.6 tons per year. That's 7% of an acre. At four ounces, it gives us 3.25 tons per year. That's 13% of an acre. And at six ounces, that gives us 20 percent of an acre. So in best case scenario, six ounce heads, we're growing roughly one fifth of an acre inside of this container. Okay, one fifth. Worst case, we're at like seven percent, so less than one tenth. However, um, again, returning to these numbers, seven percent of an acre is seven, this is seven x, okay, this is seven x per square foot uh, over an acre. So uh, this is seven pounds per square foot per year. An acre, if you remember our rule of thumb, is one pound per square foot per year for that acre. So we've got uh, seven pounds per acre, 13 pounds per acre, 20 pounds per acre. These are amazing numbers. That's seven X, 13 X, 20 X the field, okay? 20 X the field. These are amazing numbers. Again, the goal here is not to say like indoor is less productive. That's not true at all. Indoor is much, much more productive. However, we have to be honest about how productive it is. It's not a 10,000 times as productive it is 20 times as productive. It is 13 times as productive. It is seven times as productive, okay? So if we're honest about these numbers, then it allows us to make really good decisions when we're deciding, well, should I buy an acre of land in California to grow lettuce? Or should I buy a container? Or gives us more reasonable expectations around the production that we're doing in, say, a container farm. So um, that's that for stacked containers. Ultimately, we have to be honest about two things. One is output. So one is the biomass that's being produced by these farms. The second thing is about the type of product that's being produced. A butterhead bib and a clamshell that you buy at the store is not the same as a loose head full of sand that you get from a California farm, okay? Two totally different products. Now, if you're looking at a butterhead that's grown indoors versus a butterhead that is grown in a greenhouse, there's gonna be a lot less of a difference there. So um, at the end of the day, because most of the time we ultimately end up selling on the basis of uh, pounds or ounces, we should always be using our math uh, as kind of like a tether to that pound number. So we should be knowing how many pounds we can produce on a year. There the, the folks that are selling you equipment should be telling you what the range is. Uh, they should be guaranteeing certain outputs for you, right? They should be telling you, uh, you can produce this much. They should be referring you to people who are producing that much. All of these things need to be verified, they need to be clear, and ultimately we need to be talking in terms of pounds and ounces because that's what we end up competing on eventually. I think if we're honest about these numbers, if we're honest about our experiences in this industry, the industry as a whole can move forward and all of us as producers, as growers, as farmers can be more successful as a result. 
Thanks so much for engaging with us. We want to hear your guys' opinion. The last video we did got a lot of commentary, and we'd love to hear more from you guys' thoughts, criticisms, concerns. Please leave those in the comments below, and we're going to do our best to respond to you. Let's keep this conversation growing. Thank you.